Hi ladies, today I want to share a thought with you from Isaiah 43. It's a chapter that's long been a favorite of mine for the promises that it holds. It talks about how um, God says that you belong to me, that I'll never leave you, I'll walk with you through anything. And it's full of promises of his faithfulness. But this week this chapter hit me in a completely new way. I saw some promises there that I hadn't seen before. Really, if you think about it, most of the promises in the book of Isaiah are promises specifically to a prodigal nation, the nation of Israel. They had walked away and turned their back on God multiple times. And so this was promises of his faithfulness to a nation of prodigals. So if you read it with that in mind, it sheds a whole new light on things. I was praying for lost loved ones that I have prayed for for years. And I began to read this chapter as a promise to them and a promise to me on their behalf. Verse one of the chapter says, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. The nation that had walked away, thou art mine. And verse five, catch this, he says, fear not for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. This is his promise. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. We're living right here. They are on their way back. Verse 7 says, Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Understand this, that when he turns their hearts back to him, he's talking about those that have been called by his name, but have been turned to blindness, his children, prodigals. So here's what God has been impressing on my heart. We pray, we intercede, we travail, and often the people we pray for and love, they may not listen. I heard a story years ago about a lady. Her son had not been around in a very long time. He would not talk to her or listen to her. But she met a young man about her son's age and she began pouring into him. And as her testimony goes, God sent someone to talk to her own son and to pour into his life, someone he would listen to. And that person was able to reach her son while she was investing in someone else. So this is the challenge that God has given to me. Pray for those loved ones, intercede, travail, plant that seed every chance that you get and water that seed with your tears. But then you go pour into everyone that you can. Those that you're praying for may not be willing to listen to you right now, but somebody will listen to you. God may send you someone else's prodigal, the loved one someone else is praying for, and they need you to love them like your own son or daughter. So pray and plant and work right where you're at. Be faithful in impacting the people that God has put in your path right here, right now. And be faithful in the harvest field that he's put you in. Trust God with those loved ones. You can't save them, but you can be faithful right here while you trust him to work over there. You may be sowing in one place and reap somewhere else because it's God that does the work. So right here in the place that God has me, I want to be found faithful. And while I'm faithful right here, I believe that God is working over there. I can't save them. I can't heal them. I can't restore them. I can't bring them back. But I can pray and I can plant that seed every chance I get. They that sow in tears are going to reap in joy. How many times do the children of Israel become prodigals? How many times did they walk away? They paid the price for it. Life had its consequences. But see, every time they turned around, there was their father with open arms saying, I'm still here. Come on back. He was reaching for them. He was drawing them back. 
so I'm holding on tight to a promise that right now he's bringing them from the east and he's gathering them from the west. He's saying to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth on their way back to their father's house. God bless.